saying how quick they're going. You know, we go out on the golf and we rip past a, a yacht and people are just sort of in awe of what they're seeing because it's something they haven't seen before. And um, it's pretty special to be part of that. I mean, there's a time and a place for displacement sailing, going upwind and, you know, fighting for every little inch. But, you know, when there's the opportunity to go really fast and learn new things that people are sort of testing the boundaries with, I, I think that attracts me a bit more. When you're all in line, it's like when you're in a peloton and you're at the back and everything, you know, feels really nice, but you jump out of a line and you stick your head out and suddenly you just feel this massive rush of wind. An easy task like walking or running to the other side suddenly becomes really difficult. It's kind of like if you open the door and stepped out into a gale. It's a little bit similar to that, but it's shuffling around underneath your feet. I think that thing of just being slightly on edge and, you know, when you make a small mistake or you, you make a, a subtle change, you really feel a lot of difference in, yeah, what you've, what you've adjusted or trimmed and then, you know, you pay for your mistakes and, yeah, you get wet. Yeah, it's definitely a passion. You know, now we're taking it to extremes where we're racing around with helmets, dive tanks, spare air, and we're ripping around it triple the wind speed so it's you know the, the way it's progressed is, is something that's really appealing to I guess the guys who want to get that rush of speed and go to places that the sport hasn't been. Yeah I guess I've been really lucky the timing on when my career sort of ramped up. It's really suited my love for, for going fast and these things that are changing and you know, every, every time I've been involved, the rules have changed so far. So it's been um, trying to adapt and trying to learn as quickly as we can. We played around with this question a little bit and said if there was a deed of gift and you could build whatever you wanted in the, the 90 foot box, what would you build? Would it be something with the two foil arms and a single hull? Would you have multiple hulls? And for the first time, sort of since this cup, everyone had different answers. So I don't think anyone really knows at the moment. I think there's always going to be a progression of what can be the fastest thing on water. Okay, stand by. Crossing. You know, everyone's sort of getting to this high 40 sort of mark. To break through the cavitational barriers of, that we're seeing underwater, we've just got to work out ways to to reduce our drag and increase our efficiency. Once those things keep developing, we'll just go faster and faster.